Welcome to Contractor Fight TV, my friends. Today I'm going to talk about two things. The main thing is that sales cures all. The second thing is I'm going to share with you the worst thing that's happened to me in the last 24 hours. Let's go. All right, let's get this out of the way. In the last 24 hours, the worst thing that has happened to me was not an illness. Nothing that has to do with the economy. It's this, this left thumb of mine, my left thumb. In the middle of the night, last night, I rolled over and the fingernail, the thumbnail, sliced my nipple while I was sleeping and woke me up with a shriek. So, I don't know, can you top that? Because that's pretty bad. I don't know, Noel, that's pretty bad. Okay, hold on, Noel, just come over here a minute. Walk over here. You guys gotta see what Noel looks like right now. <laughs> now, Noel has a habit of touching his face, which is why he's wearing this, but the real reason, I think that was just an excuse. The real reason. Uh, I didn't wanna get Tom sick. He didn't wanna get me sick because I'm of age she to is. be more susceptible to the shit going on in the world right now. Get I'm the fuck out of here. You. Yeah, oh, thanks, man. All right, so, my friends. Speaking of cures, see, he's preventative here, but you know, listen, we, fear is in the air, right? Fear is in the air. You got the health scare, slowing economy, restaurants are closing, bunch of things are going on. If you're a contractor, you might've already had some people that have pulled the plug on a project, postponed a project. And some of you might be going, holy crap, I'm in trouble right now because I already spent the deposit they gave me to pay the bills. So guys, I get it. We've all been there. Um, so I'm going to give you some things today, some quick thoughts for you to just keep top of mind during these times where the, the, the collective consciousness mindset is fear and uncertainty and anxiety and stuff like that. And, and it just simply comes down to this for years and years and years in the contractor fight, I have been talking about the number one thing, um, that's going to keep your business going, keep it alive, keep it strong is you have to get oxygen. You have to breathe and oxygen in business is money. And, and in the fight, they really come down to three pillars that we talked about. Our, we talk about all the time in our hundred K contractor program. It's leads, sales, profit, leads, sales, profit. When those things are dialed in, everything else is easier. So what I want to talk about a little bit here today, guys, is a little bit of the sales mindset, uh, because sales truly cures all. And so the first thing guys is everything is easier when you sell. I don't care what you're doing. Uh, you got to understand that your number one job as a business is to sell. It is not to produce the thing that you produce. It is not as important as that is selling is more important. See nothing else in the business happens. You don't produce, you don't invoice, you don't have an HR department, you don't do employee training. None of that stuff happens if you don't have money coming in from a sale. Okay, so everything is easier when you sell. So listen, here's the deal. If you are not out producing work right now, all right, you're selling. If you're not writing up a contract and sitting down with somebody and signing it and getting a deposit check right now, you should be prospecting, okay? Sell right now. Never, ever, ever lose sight of the fact that you are, your number one job as a business is to sell. So prospecting, let me talk about that for a minute. Guys, don't overcomplicate this. So many guys are like, well, I don't like talking to people. And this, well, listen, do you like to eat? Do you like to pay your bills? Do you like to take care of your family? Then you better get over yourself and understand if you're gonna be in business, you gotta be on the hunt. You gotta be on the attack. Prospecting to me is nothing more than having a conversation, reaching out to somebody. And a word track that I've shared here before on Fight TV with you guys before is simply this. If I'm a um, landscape contractor and I see a home builder that I don't currently do work for, I call them up, I call the number on the truck, whatever. I call the office, I walk into the office, send them an email, and it could be simply just this. Hey, my name's Tom with ABC Lawn Care or Landscaping or Hardscapes. I notice that you build really nice homes I've seen around town. I happen to do hardscapes for really nice homes. I thought it might make sense if we knew each other. That exact word track, that exact word track I've seen work 
a crazy amount of times. Okay. Don't overcomplicate the prospecting. So guys, again, if you're not producing work, you're writing up a contract with somebody. If you're not writing up a contract with somebody, you are prospecting. All right. So get that through your head. Second thing here, uh, in this whole sales cures all mindset, aim small. Okay. Aim small, miss small. Too many times we're just trying to blanket things out to the world and we have a hard time making a dent. Okay, I'd rather be a big fish in a small pond all right, than be in the bloody ocean with all the other sharks that are fighting for all this crazy work that's out there. So um, got to get it through your mind that you're not for everyone and that's okay. Not every client is your client. So put your sights on the clients that you can serve the best. Put your sights on the types of projects that you can serve the best. Okay. What are the most profitable jobs that you do that are easy to do? They're fun to do. They're easy to sell for you. Those are the things that you want to be prospecting around right now and marketing for and really going after that stuff. It might, it might be a town. It might be whatever. Okay. But guys really aim small and own a niche. Now that doesn't mean you wouldn't take some projects that are outside of that niche. However, your number one focus with this, what you're aiming at, should not be a shotgun. It should be a sniper rifle. All right. Put your crosshairs on the types of clients, types of jobs that you want to do that are the best for your business. And, and for me, I like low friction stuff. I want stuff that's easy to sell, easy to produce. Um, they're low risk. That's why a thousand years ago, um, we did not paint. We did not typically paint homes that were older than what? 1978 because of the whole lead issue. They just were not a good fit for, for our company. So when we had one of those jobs come in, we just bid the hell out of it. And if we happen to get it, then we get it. But those were a pain in the butt for us. They were hard to sell. We liked those homes that were like 20 years uh, old or younger, where we'd go in, fix some nail pops, fix some cracks, whatever, caulk some things, blah, blah, blah. Put a couple coats of beautiful paint on it and we're done. We're in, we're out, we're paid and we move on. Aim small. Third thing here, guys, I'm going to talk about today. Um, and this is probably the most important thing in this time that we're dealing with right now in our world, in our economy, there's a lot of fear. The fuel for fear that I've come to realize over time here through the years, what fear, what fuels fear the most is inaction over time. Your inaction will actually feed your fear. Fear grows stronger when we hesitate to act here. Shoot. I got this sitting right here. Okay. Fear grows stronger when we hesitate to act on the things that we already know to do. Okay. You got to take action. You got to put a plan in motion. All right. And make that stuff happen today. Nothing happens if you're not executing. What does that look like? It means you make phone calls. You re-engage with past customers. You're sending out email marketing. You're creating content. Okay. Uh, you meet new people, you're prospecting. Don't just sit around and wait for somebody to come save you. Inaction is like putting gas in the fear machine. When you're sitting around, you're feeding on all the negativity. Okay. Turn off the dang news, stay informed. Okay. That's cool. Stay informed, but then just go shut that crap off and go, all right, what do I need to execute on today? To quote the great Brad Pitt in the movie World War Z. Did you ever see that movie? Oh, I saw it. You saw it. You remember the apartment scene? There was that family in the apartment in the beginning of the movie. They were hunkered down in the apartment and Brad Pitt ended up in there and he's like, we need to leave. And the father was like, no, we need to stay here and hide. And Brad Pitt, you remember the line? Movement is life. He says, if we sit here, we're dead. Okay. And guys, it is the same thing right now. Movement is life in your business. Do not sit around and hear all the scary noises outside the door. Okay. You got to keep moving. Okay. Travel light, keep moving. Movement is life. Control what you can control, which is your mind and your actions. It's that simple. All right. Finally, a day in business without a ringing cash register is a terrible day. So commit to selling every single day. And it, on the other end of this, I promise you if, you, if you have this mindset of these things we talked about, that everything's easier when we sell, all right, I'm going to aim small and movement is life that I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be responsible for fueling my own fear. On the other end of this, you're going to be stronger because the truth is we got tens of thousands of people that watch this channel and all this other stuff every week. 
Guys, 95% of you will not do the things I'm talking about right now. That is just a fact. You won't do it. You're, you're, you think there's some magic pill out there, or some button that you're going to push and some golden unicorn with a handsome, you know, savior on a horse or whatever is going to come down and or save you. I said horse when I said unicorn, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But you get the point. Nobody's fucking coming to save you. Okay? So execute the shit that we're talking about here. We've been preaching this shit for years on this channel. Everything we've talked about on this channel, had you been doing it, you'd be more prepared now. You'd have money in the bank. You wouldn't be freaking out like you are right now. So for God's sake, execute on the stuff that we're telling you here. Okay? Doesn't get any better than this. It's free. It's free and it's from getting kicked in the face through the years. Okay? On my own. Succeeding, failing, everything in between. Coaching thousands of other contractors and many trades around the world, the shit that's coming out of our mouth here on this channel, out of my mouth on this channel, is not just theory, you guys. It works. You have to execute it. That's all I got today. Thanks for joining us today on Contractor Fight TV. I'm out.